Hi everyone, I'm Tiago, I'm a PhD student at uh, DTU and I will present now my work about uh, optimal offering strategies for wind power in energy and primary reserve markets. Currently, the <laughs> currently uh, several countries have been establishing ambitious targets of 100% of renewable source uh, until 2050. This will lead to new challenges since uh, renewable source, mainly wind power, is intermittent and uncertain. But they are growing uh, more and will participate more and more in the electricity markets. On the other hand, um, wind power technology has been evolving and now are able to provide some ancillary service. In this context, new business models may emerge for wind power producers participate uh, in energy and ancillary service market. Thus, uh, wind power plants may improve its uh, benefits by maximizing its expected return for participation in uh, both energy and ancillary service markets, considering the penalties that uh, may get for its uh, imbalanced deviations. Currently, uh, wind power can be strategically traded in the energy market, the so-called news vendor problem, where uh, optimal quantile can get the optimal bid for uh, participation in the energy market, taking into account the deviations between the head and uh, the balancing stage of the price for up and down deviations. Based on this single market, uh, it, this work proposed to not only participate in the energy market, but also in the primary reserve market in order to find the optimal bid for its participation. And considering the penalties that uh, the wind power producers may get in the balancing uh, stage. Uh, for that purpose, I was studying two different uh, strategies. The first one is the proportional strategy where the blue curve represents the total available wind power, while the red curve represents the uh, share for participating in the energy market. The area between the blue and red curve is the share for participating in the reserve market. This share is uh, obtained by an alpha parameter that varies between 0 and uh, 1. The other strategy is the constant strategy. Again, the blue curve is corresponds to the wind available power, while the red curve now uh, represents the behavior of this strategy. This strategy fixes a certain amount of power for participating in the primary reserve market, while the remaining amount of power is submitted to the energy market. This uh, strategy only works uh, with a power above a certain amount of the installed power. Both strategies are used in literature uh, at operational and control level, but not for strategical trade wind power in the energy and primary reserve markets. My work focuses on uh, applying these both uh, strategies to find out the optimal share for participating in the energy and primary reserve markets. Now, uh, this figure depicts the results for the proportional strategy. The red area represents the share on the energy market, while the blue area represents the share for participating in the primary reserve market. Uh, this uh, strategy has a behavior of submitting all the available power to one single market. The green curve represents the revenue that the winter power producer may get by applying this uh, strategy. The second graph represents the results for the constant strategy. It seems that in most of the periods um, this strategy split the available power for participating in energy and primary reserve market. Comparing both strategies, the um, proportional uh, strategy will get higher revenues in uh, some periods in comparison with the constant strategy, but in other periods the opposite also happens. Concluding, both uh, the results of both uh, strategies strongly depends 
on the penalties of uh, the price for the energy and uh, primary reserve market. Furthermore, the, um, both uh, the wind power producers may improve its benefits by submitting, uh, uh, by splitting its uh, energy, its available power for participating in uh, both energy and uh, primary reserve markets. Moreover, the proportional uh, strategy presents a uh, behavior of submitting all the available power to a single uh, or specific market, while the constant strategy tends to uh, split the available power for partici participating in both markets. Thank you.